Hey, Scott, how you doing? This is Matt from Search Strategy. Bethany said I could send this video over to you. I want to give uh, you an overview of uh, how you can come up against some of your competitors in Google search uh, with some uh, three easy tips that I think you could do internally. If you want to talk with me afterward about it, that's great, too. Uh, but please use this uh, and, and make some changes to your site uh, and I'll get into it. So there's three things that I want to cover with you. One is content two is backlinks, and three is citations. And then I'll show you the opportunity of taking these steps for your business. So first and foremost, I did a little search here, Escondido Landscaping Service. I came up with a couple of your competitors and I also was looking for you there. <clears throat> and so I found with your site, the first thing that I noticed here is that you have your title tag. This is the first thing that Google sees. And they say, actually, no, the first thing that Google sees is this here, not secure. I would highly recommend that you get uh, an SSL certificate, which is just changes it from HTTP to HTTPS. Once you have the S on there, it's a secure website. People feel comfortable when they're on here. If they're going to fill out forms, you definitely want to put that there first. The next thing is this title tag. This tells Google what your site is about. Like I said, uh, Escondido Landscaping Services, that, there's a lot of search term, a lot of search volume for that keyword. It'd probably make more sense to have that keyword here uh, as instead of your branded name, because you're, you're really trying to come up and search for what people are looking for. And a keyword is essentially what someone is typing into Google and when they're looking for a search, uh, searching for a product or service. So you want to make sure that you have that there. The next thing I would recommend for you is adding more content. 1,500 to 2,000 words on this page would be great. The more, uh, the higher your competition, the more uh, content you want, and you'd like to have more keywords weaved in there um, that are, are applicable. So certainly the Escondido Landscaping Service, some variety of that, talk more about aeration and irrigation, but we wanna find those keywords that are uh, being searched for in the San Diego area. All right, so that's that. Uh, the second thing I want, oh, actually, you know, let me take a look here at the uh, at your competitors and see what they're doing here. All right, so what I like here is they've got a form, they've got content. They don't have that much, so that's a great way to uh, beat them out. Um, these are the folks that came up here uh, second overall. And then, all right, so we want they, we can certainly get more content than them. And then these guys were shortly thereafter chop chop uh i think they have you know they got a lot of content on there so you definitely want to put more content on your website to outrank these two guys all right then we have a uh, backlink so a backlink is anywhere you find one website linking to another via a clickable or hyperlink text and the links act like an endorsement of your website from others so uh google sees that they use it to build trust in your business by seeing that others are vouching for you and i can show you here that you have uh 216 backlinks coming from 83 different websites so you're popular to an extent you've got 83 different websites coming back to you um but you need the most and those of the highest authority to win so because you have these backlinks and you probably have an older uh, domain, your older website uh, that's probably been around for a bit, you're getting 89 searches a month. This is because this is a ranking from 15 or zero to 100, which it says your authority score, you're 15 out of 100. Uh, and by the way, this is a, a tool I use called SEMrush. It gives me all these diagnostics and tells me what's going on with you. But the majority of your uh, your volume is coming from this these branded keywords so we definitely need to get you more backlinks and uh, start to focus on other keywords let's look at your competitors here uh, these guys landscaping escondido they have 443 backlinks but it's only coming from 53 uh, keywords and they actually have a lower authority score than you but what they do have uh, they do have is they are coming up specifically for those keywords escondido landscaping services so because their, their site is labeled appropriately, even though they don't have as many links, they're still coming up in search ahead of you for this particular keyword. And that has a uh, monthly volume, 210 searches a month. They're getting a portion of that coming to them. All right, let's look at these guys. Uh, they have only 23 backlinks, a zero pay authority score. They're getting 15, but they're still coming up ahead of you on this Escondido landscaping service. So in short, 
you have an amazing opportunity to just come ahead of these guys in in terms of competition uh, with the backlinks and the content. You could be ahead of them pretty quickly for a, a healthy uh, a healthy keyword like that. So another way that you can come up and search is in this area here. Um, here your competitor, AJ Chris, is coming up again. Uh, this is the map pack. This is your business profile. This is your name, your address, and your phone number. The way that you come up in these Google map packs is to mirror that name, address, and phone number across different um, different directories like Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Yellow Pages, Expertise, etc. What you want to do is have that name, address, phone number the same across all those different directories. And Google says, okay, these guys are on top of it. They're legit. I see them everywhere. They're putting their information in the right place. It's all the same. That is going to give you a boost. And the more uh, citations that you have, the more likely you are to be in this app pack. So uh, certainly something you want to think of. So just to wrap it up, there's uh, content, backlinks, and citations. You get those to come together, and you can really start to outgrow your competitors. And I'm, the way I see this is what would happen to your business if you had another 100 searches to your site? So if you had another 100 searches coming to you, let's say the, uh, the typical conversion rate from visitor to lead on your website would be 10%. That's 10 visitors. Let's say, let's be very conservative and say three of them turn, turn into customers. That's three new customers by getting 100 targeted keywords on your website. That's what it's all about. So uh, I know there's there, there are good margins in your business. I'd love to see uh, you have more visibility and ability to get more clients just using your web. I'm sh the web, I'm sure you get a lot of referrals, um, but this is a great way to, to diversify. At any rate, uh, again, my name is Matt. I'm with Search Strategy. I've been in business since 2009. If you want to talk to me about this further, I'd love to have a conversation with you. If you're not interested, that's okay too, but I do hope you will apply these uh, these tips, or either you or somebody on your team. And I appreciate the time. Uh, thanks so much and have a great day.